Nation. Broski Nation, Baskin Nation collab. Finally. <laughs> God damn. The fact that we've been friends for almost three years now. Yeah. By the way. And we've never collabed. Has it been three years? 2019. Do you remember when we met? I don't remember when I met anyone in Hollywood. Because I usually am on something. <laughs> Under the influence. On a bar somewhere. Yeah, in naked in an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Dildo stretch. <laughs> and this is so weird because I don't collab. I don't either. I hate it. It's Not with you. Like, <laughs> I'm like, should I leave? <laughs> you know, it's very much like the forced YouTube collab. That age is dead and gone, by the way, I think. Oh, like, it's so dead James and gone. Charles, Kylie Jenner. Who the fuck wants to see that? I want to see friends on screen. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't want to see that. <laughs> You're like, I would never watch that. James Charles and Doja Cat, come on. <laughs> when you can like feel the genuine yeah. friendship between the people. Yeah. Like the fucking, okay, if we're gonna roast James Charles, his Christmas collapse with like little honey and like, <laughs> me and my high class besties, <laughs> nowhere. What are we doing? What is it? <laughs> you watch the video. Absolutely no chemistry between any of them. And I only have like true homies on the channel, so. Yeah. Yeah. We're playing Truth or Drink, but Britney's a weenie. How's your collection coming along? But I'm not a weenie. I'm sorry, sir. We're gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing Truth or Drink, but we're like sipping that. on fucking wine coolers. Is this <laughs> the first sip is always the hardest. First cup is the deepest. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what were we even saying? I have no fucking clue. So we're playing Truth or Drink, and I got this random Truth or Drink <coughs> card set, I guess, on Amazon. Um, it looked compelling. I'm talking to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Sponsored by Native. Give up for Native. 
I don't know about you guys, but for me, I'm trying to be a lot more aware of the choices that I'm making in my everyday life, especially because it's a new year. Trying to be aware of what I'm putting on my body, just trying to be a better person in general. And that's why I love Native's deodorants, y'all. These are my three favorites right now from Native, okay? And I'm not even kidding you guys, the smell of these things. So this is my favorite one, the coconut and vanilla paraben-free and aluminum-free deodorant. And it just smells so warm and toasty. It smells like cinnamon hot chocolate. I've just been loving vanilla these days. I love warm scents. I'm gonna put some on right now. I already put some on earlier, but I'll put more on. Sometimes I just put it on and then I'll just be like hanging out in bed and I'll just kind of it just smells so comforting. Or I like to like put my hands in my pits underneath my shirt and then just, I don't know. That's, probably shouldn't admit that. But my, se <laughs> my second favorite one, it's the lilac and white tea. Paraben free, aluminum free, and that rhymes. This one, oh my God, it smells it smells like I'm just frolicking in a lilac field on a warm spring day. Ooh, this smells so good. And white tea. I wear this one when I'm feeling a little bit more floral and floaty, but when I'm feeling warm and toasty, I wear the coconut and vanilla one. And then I also have this one. This is the sweet peach and nectar. Paraben free, aluminum free. I haven't used this one yet, so it has a little thing on it still. But this one smells like peach cobbler. Ooh, ooh, I really like this one. I got my peaches out in Georgia. My favorite thing about these deodorants is the texture. It's not sticky at all. In fact, it's very creamy, very creamy. It dries very quickly too. So if you're in a rush, it doesn't stick to your pits. And these have a 24 hour odor protection. So you don't have to worry about your armpits acting up even after you work out or, you know, do other active things. Besides that, wink, wink. Okay, but you know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to worry about any smells coming loose. You can just enjoy your day. And you guys hear me out. Three native deodorants would be $39, but if you use my code, Sarah B, <laughs> you'll get them for $26. Do the math. That's over 33% off when you use my code, so use it. You can also get 20% off any body wash or any toothpaste as well. Native's plastic-free deodorant uses the exact same formula as their regular deodorant, but with much more sustainable packaging. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Native, for sponsoring sponsoring for sponsoring my video i love your work i love your products let's get back into the video shall we i honestly bought this at first because i was having a guy come stay the weekend with me and i was like what are we gonna do activities that's so smart and i genuinely have no clue Wait, what you play questions i like kind of looked through some of the cards and i was like okay okay do they have astrology stuff on the outside? So it looks like that, but it's just like oh. an aesthetically pleasing, like trying to get like, the astrology girl. Oh God, it's like tarot. <laughs> if this was just all astrology based, <laughs> he would have run. Oh my God. <laughs> Imagine a dude coming over and you're like, we're gonna play an astrology game. And he's like, no the fuck we're not. So your Mercury is <laughs> Sagittarius. How does that affect your daily activities? <laughs> We're about to find out. Just casting judgment on him all the time. <laughs> okay, wait. I would love to do Vegas with you. Bitch. Dude, but I want to live my like 90s Las Vegas Pamela Anderson fantasy. So what does that mean to you? I don't know. Like that's for you and I to discover. <laughs> <laughs> like aggressively 90s makeup. I want like a brown lip liner. Oh, that's <laughs> Absolutely. Where do you you usually stay? Where? Girl, I did not know I shuffle. I'll do this. That this shuffle. is so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm like trying to flex the cards. <laughs> like, it's not, I'm, I'm like, not I cannot work. even do this casually. Wait, where do you usually stay? Girl, I don't know. I have so to go Dude, I, I stayed at the Super 8 last time. <laughs> Oh, not last time. The time before that, I went to Life is Beautiful. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. My friends were annoying me so badly, and we all had one room together, and I was just so fucking one pissed. One bathroom, mm -hmm. one room. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? Fuck y'all. I'm gonna get my own room. Everything was booked. Everywhere. I didn't even think about that. 
Every single location in Vegas was booked. And so I walked to the Super 8. I walked to the Super 8. That's so dangerous. It was during the day. But still. Dude, no, yeah, I like finally got into my room and there's just like people screaming outside of my yeah. room. I'm like, okay. You're like, it's fine. For me, it was like, oh, finally my peace. Do you want to go first? Yeah. So there, on each card, there's two possible questions. So choose whichever one you Ooh. like better. Okay. And if you don't like any of them, because some of them do suck and some of them just like are cringe. Just, just pick another one. Yeah. Describe three ways to... <laughs> three ways to improve my physical appearance <laughs> what? and general attractiveness. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're ugly, you're busted, you're clean, fucking clean your skin up, your hair, your oh, hair, get a new one, get a new one. What the fuck is that? I don't want to do that. No, wait. I'm not mentally no, no, no. up for that. No, well you ask, I'm saying, I'm agreeing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, well then now it's your turn. Okay. That is tea. This game is gonna ruin some fucking lives and friendships. Tell me what's wrong with me. <laughs> well, <laughs> well <laughs> not we're not all again. Not all of them were like that. I don't think. Led them for personal gain? No. I did download um, sh the Sugar Daddy website one time. Did you? Yeah, but I got scared. Yeah. I'm not, what, am I gonna do that? Yeah, I'll show you my fucking toes. What? Kombucha girl toes? No. You made your profile <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, this is too I funny. literally did. I did on whatever that one is called. Uh, seeking Arrangements. True Tanamojo form. I made like a fake name. I followed all their tips and I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. And I deleted it. What type of mental state were you in? Were Poor. You <laughs> Struggling? Poor? This is when I was at my insurance job. <laughs> You're making the profile at your job. I literally was like, fuck this bullshit. I'm quitting. Go oh, bear. Oh. <laughs> Pity laugh at my jokes, even if you don't think they're funny. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I, I, you genuinely create a physical reaction out of me. I don't think I've ever pity laughed at your jokes either. Really? We're just funny girls. We're just funny <laughs> but I do do that though with people. Oh, I do that. Well, my family can tell when I do my fake laugh. They can tell. What's your fake laugh? Well, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna be hyper aware of it. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> All right. Okay. These are like awful. <laughs> What's the kinkiest thing that you've asked someone else to do? I'm gonna say that on Joe Biden's internet. Do you not talk about sex? Cause I don't. Not really. I really don't. I don't. But you know the god honest truth is I live in West Hollywood so there's no straight men for me to talk about. I mean like on the internet. You know that's a very specific type of comedian that's like, my pussy hole is so loose. Yeah. I don't think that shit's funny. I don't either. Yeah. I'll talk about my butthole all day. I'll totally. talk about poop. I'll talk about my hemorrhoids. <laughs> Liquid diarrhea, sharding, blood farts, anything. anything. Yeah. The minute it's about sex, you're you've gone too far. Yeah. <laughs> I can't like sweaty. I'm like sweating right now. <laughs> I think it's because I know my family and friends watch it. And yes. I'm like, hello. I know like my dad watches my videos. Yeah. Sometimes. I'm gonna be like, so I was hooking up with this <laughs> fine ass man. So he's like, cock. <laughs> <laughs> that girth. Who is so cock? <laughs> cock. That's such a visceral word. Honestly, every word for... I hate pussy. I do too. I hate... I mean... 
just saying that like when you're like actually being sexual with someone like yeah it just does not feel it natural does. on the tongue do you have a word in your family for it like what did you grow up calling it uh <laughs> My mom never really... You didn't have a word? What did you say? My mom was like, uh, she would say like, your private parts. Oh, okay. It's Whatever. the Christian trauma. It's the Christian trauma. Yeah. So then I grew up and I was like, vagina sounds awful. Vagina sounds too medical. It sounds too like fancy. Yeah, very vagina. clinical. Yeah. I don't have one of those. I don't have that. I got a vagina. <laughs> hey, what the hell? I got... We grew up calling it a wuss. A wuss? <laughs> Was. Oh wait, what? That's what the baseball dads would call all the guys that would Yeah, you're the wuss. You're a fucking wuss. <laughs> I have one. Oh wait. Kind of misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the same thing people say you're a pussy. That's so bad. Or when you're a bitch. Like those are all misogynistic terms. That's so terrible. Yeah. Can we stop that? Yeah, guys. Cut it out. <laughs> All the 1% guys that are listening to this. I have zero straight male followers. <laughs> they, are, they are not existent. And if I do, it's the girls <laughs> who watch my videos as boyfriends yes. and are forced to watch so, them. And they'll come up to you at festivals and be like, girlfriend, don't you can take a picture for her? I'm like, yeah, dude, for sure. I don't know who you are at all. Yeah, I don't even like you. I don't even fucking watch your shit. I've had that happen before. They'll be like, personally, I don't think you're funny, but my girlfriend loves you. <laughs> Just fine. I'm like on Molly. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be like a bad. I'm like, what am I? Uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> that is so awful. No, it's horrible. Why do men? It? It's yeah. my turn. <laughs> or is it? I don't know. <laughs> Here's a good one. What makes you so much fun? What makes you so much fun? No, what makes you so much fun? I don't know if we're playing. <laughs> You have a infectious joy. Oh my god. Ew, that sounds like I'm kidding. <laughs> That's why you have been online for so long and that is so hard to do and it's because you just spread joy And you're very honest about what you're going through and I think that's very relatable as well Because it's not all sunshine and butterflies all the time. It really is not. It's sunshine and butterflies It's not all about the man. Period! Do you know how long it took me to realize that? Because porn and everything else only shows you the male pleasure and then it's done. The act of sex is done after the male has finished. Yup. I did not know there was a whole other side to it! Yes, dude. Like, he can continue, or any relationship, if it's a one-sided, like, your partner gets the pleasure and then it's over, that is not how it should work. No. And I think our nasty hookup culture like perpetuates it of like, you know, when the dude is done, you have been used for your purpose. Yeah. I thought like, away. Literally, I thought about myself as that for the longest time. And so that's, I wish I could tell myself, like he doesn't give a fuck about you. He wants to use you for your body. So say no. Yeah. Important. Welcome back to uh, what is it? What's the one Cody Co and Noel right reacted to? That's great. Yeah, what's that <laughs> called? That's what we're going to say. That's great. No, the. Um, no, I know what you're talking about. Girl Define. Girl Define. Yeah. Thank you for coming to Girl Define. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If 
I were a chain restaurant, which one would I be and why? I have an answer in mind, and if you don't say it, I'm gonna be upset. Oh, shit. <laughs> what are you giving? What are you giving? What are you giving? I wanna say Texas Roadhouse. Okay, close. I'll take that. Because of the biscuits. Yeah. No, 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 no. Actually, no. I would say Outback. Okay, period. Bloom and Onion. I do get Bloom and Onion. <laughs> There's lots of layers to you. Yeah, I would have said um, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I've never been. <gasps> What the fuck, bitch? I Let's make another video about a cracker. Road trip cracker. Just cut stuff. <laughs> Should we go? When does it close? Let's figure it out. Okay. Wait, yeah. also, do you watch Euphoria? No. Why? I was gonna say, we watched the episode tonight. <laughs> no, I don't. What the fuck, Brittany? I finished season one. It's Loki Super Unfair. We're saying. Why? <laughs> I think it's just kind of like over it. <laughs> it comes from down here. Like if you could taste the taste of my mouth right now, it's like you would vomit. No, but it was just... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> that was like a jump scare. <laughs> jump scare trigger warning. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I... The first ep season, I was just like, this is so heavy. Oh, okay. it's, a, it's very heavy. Which, not to say I don't enjoy, you know, like, dramatic shows like that. I just, I don't get out of the way. But, season two is some fucking tea. You I've been seeing spoilers. It? No, no, no. I've been seeing spoilers on TikTok, and I'm like, what is Cassie's deal? <laughs> so you know, I know some of it. Girl, it's so... I know Cassie, her whole thing is, like, she needs male validation so bad. And I'm like, me? Yeah! I saw this whole, like, analysis TikTok on, like, her waking up at 4 a.m. to do her makeup, and I was like, that literally was me in high school and college. Same. Like, I only have gotten to a point recently where I'm like, I don't give a fuck if I go out in public with a makeup on. It would take me like three hours every single morning in high school. Holy fuck, dude. And all the men were trash. Yeah, by high school. So did what am I doing this for? Literally did not wash their ass holes. Didn't wash their hands. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start there. A uh, shit in her whole body's for one direction. Literally, like what, dude? <laughs> I'm not kidding, like, <laughs> and knowing society. that every bitch in the crowd <laughs> was shaved and bald, born, baby, <laughs> fucking nair to the legs. And I was a hairy 13 year old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a mustache. <laughs> My mom would have bleached that shit every week, every Monday. I would have just shaved it. <laughs> My mom would scream at me. She's like, we're not shaving. Yeah. We're bleaching. It's going to yeah. grow on thicker. <laughs> You're going to look like your Uncle Mike. She's going to have chemical burns <laughs> in the shape of a mustache. <laughs> so she like scared the fuck out of me saying that if I shaved it, I would look like, at <laughs> successful at as a pair. Ooh, 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 ooh. I have one of mine. What do you think? An acapella duo? That's a business <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> We're on tour. Yeah. <laughs> Give us that <laughs> Festival uh, prep pack. 
Okay. It's like, a, it's like a backpack and it has everything you could ever need. That just came to you? Yeah, because I was thinking about you and I was like, you're a festival girly. You're a rave Wait, girly. That's so smart. Like one of those camelback backpacks with the little straw yeah. and shit. So it's that that you can obviously refill. Um, it comes with like dry shampoo. Oh my god. Um, Palettes. <laughs> yeah. Label makers. <laughs> my last glue. My last glue. Yeah. Because you did that before, right? You camped for. Oh, I camped. And it was fun. It was fine. I would have smelled like a carpenter by the end of it. We had bag showers. <laughs> we took showers in the grass. <laughs> It was a gallon tube. <laughs> How'd you like a bag? You put a bathing suit on, get a loofah, someone's holding the bag above you, and, you just, and you're in the grass, <laughs> you know? That's someone like has a towel around oh, you, and okay. you just, you know, yeah, you just do it, you just figure it out. I just wouldn't have, I would have said y'all getting me how you get me. <laughs> I know, it was chill. Life is beautiful, you're gonna see how beautiful it gets. Natural. <laughs> Infamously, people at music festivals stink. Yeah, like if they're like in the crowd, tight, packed like yeah. a sardine. But yeah. you don't do that. You like no. hang out on the edges. Okay, and fine. Yeah. yeah. I always wondered what type of. Are you like have to be front row for fucking Billie Eilish? God, or like you're no. in the very back dancing. Yeah, you're dancing. What the? <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I'm not a sophomore in high school, but it's. Okay. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What? <laughs> I mean it, I mean it. If a studio were to make a porn specifically for you, tailored to your specific tastes, what would it be like? <laughs> this is like, you're, okay, you're playing this game at a bar with like a dude you're trying to fuck. That's right. Okay. This is not for oh. two bestie girlies. <laughs> okay. Okay. Would you like to be spit on? Do you like anal? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> What movie title describes your last relationship or like situation two? <laughs> me? And I know your last situation. Oh, fuck. <laughs> or give me like a movie title or like a song title. Well, my last relationship, the movie Mother. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I was his mother. <laughs> yes. Cooked this man's meals for him. I did his laundry. I edited his papers. Oh my god. Last situation I don't know. What are you thinking? It's like I can't, you can't define it. It was just so sad. <laughs> <laughs> it was so disappointed <laughs> and upset. <laughs> um, I wish you were gay. Like Billy <laughs> Eilish. Period. Period. He, it would have made it so much easier if he was just sucking dick. That's a great one. I wish one. you were gay. Yeah. That's a great one. That's a great one. What musician's body of work do you wish you were responsible for? Oh shit. Yeah, it's a good oh, one. Oh shit. I hate this shit because when there's specific questions like this, my brain just goes blank. Oh, I'm me like, too. When someone's like, what's your favorite movie? I'm like, I've never seen a movie. <laughs> what is a movie? Yeah, I don't have a favorite song either. I've never heard a song. <laughs> I don't listen. I'm Who are actually dead? Who are your top five <laughs> artists on Spotify? I cannot. <laughs> we'll never know. I'll answer for you, Tim and Paula. <laughs> I'm not putting that in. So, <laughs> just <laughs> great. Let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. I would, yeah, I would have to say Tame Impala because their sound is like everything that I've ever wanted yeah. to make as a musician and like the emotions it evokes. Yeah. Or um, Rihanna. Okay. She's just so everything that she puts out is just so solid and hot. Yeah. Not a flop. Sexy, not a flop. Not a flop. Wild thoughts, goddamn. Consideration with SZA, goddamn. <sighs> Kiss me better, goddamn. That whole anti-album. And she's pregnant! Can you believe? Cannot. We never thought we'd see the day. What were we, were we playing the game where, who was I watching where they were like, name an ASAP Rocky song? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Can you not? Are you for real? Name an ASAP Rocky song. LSD, fucking. Problems. That is not this song. He's way too on that. Okay, hang on. Live long ASAP. None of those songs I know other than. Oh, I love Problems. Sundress. Uh, Tame and Paul's on that. Sick. I didn't know that. And Kevin produced it for him. Team it's a bitch. great one. I've been on this wave lately. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to the 
background over here. The sun was setting. I was like, I live in fucking California. <laughs> I was like, I'm living my fantasy, bitch. I was smiling the whole drive here to oh Steely God. Dan. Oh, wait, I love that. What song? Um, Deacon Blues. Play it. Give me a sample. It was just like a fucking moment in time. Ooh, that's nice. I don't know. It's Windows just down? Yeah, it was like, your hand. I was having a fucking blast. I love that! And like always, we somehow went down a deep rabbit hole of our baggage. We were just talking about our problems, um, men. We were talking about this for 20 minutes and we didn't even realize that we were still recording, like we just forgot. What is your moon? Gemini, I'm crazy. I have a cancer moon, I'm crazy. <laughs> Like, I don't think God you're with me. Oh my God. I'm and it, but it's not, like, actually, no. <laughs> no, like, literally stop the video. We literally are in, well, hold on, let's do an outro. Let's no, 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 no. <laughs> We're gonna go have a crazy girl time. <laughs> so we just, like, got really deep into our feelings about our life and our relationships. Men, male validation and male gaze, so we, Man. we need to, like, cut the cameras and just have a moment. Dude, men are literally the worst, and me and Brittany are going through the same exact yeah. situation. I'm, it's, <gasps> it's truly awful. My <laughs> boob hitting my foot. <laughs> <I'm sick. laughs> Not wearing a bra. What? My nipple just touching my thigh. <laughs> Like absolutely insane. <laughs> <Shaping> <laughs> my um, okay, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed. We made a video on Britney's channel also, so yeah. go check it out. Yeah, yeah. Love you guys. Um, love also you. go listen to her podcast. It's really funny. Yeah! I was just listening to it a few days ago. Wow. Oh my god, I love it. Thank you! Yeah, the furries episode killed me. <laughs> People sleep on furries. The furry community's lit. All of, not all of my friends in high school were furries, but a lot of them were. <laughs> not all of them were. But dude, I love the furries. Yeah, they slay. Dude, they would like show up to my school and they would get on their hands and knees and like role play out in the courtyard and like whack no their shame. butts. I bet you've never been as happy as they were in that moment. They were so blissful. And like I sat next to this bit, Mackenzie, if you're watching this, I miss you. <laughs> serious. Like seriously. I love you. Call in. <laughs> call in. <laughs> call in. <laughs> because you call in, the number is going to be across the screen. Comment a little fox. Yeah. Hold on a second. Um, no, but seriously, go watch her podcast. It's hilarious. It's called Community Guidelines. Violating Community Guidelines. Sorry. Violating <laughs> Community Guidelines. Yeah. Love you guys. XOXO. <sighs> Basque Nation. <laughs> Basque Nation. <laughs>